And so the next, the next question is for Dr. Yang. Are there any specific health conditions or factors that could impact the surgery? Yes, so I think that for folks who have heart disease or their heart is not as strong, that uh, oftentimes we, we have to um, make sure we talk with the cardiologist and uh, do any testing that is necessary to uh, make sure that uh, they can uh, tolerate uh, actual operation. So I, one of the things I didn't quite understand, um, perhaps as a medical student, was that um, the heart basically goes through a big workout uh, when when you're under anesthesia and during an operation. And so um, it's important that, so I've, I've had patients where we weren't sure how well their heart would do. And so wanted to get the cardiologist to weigh in and then the patient ends up getting additional treatments like having a stent in their heart and then on some anticoagulation, uh, before, sorry, antiplatelet medication before they could start surgery. The, the other component are the lungs. That, that's a big component as well. And so for folks who have uh, lung function that is not that good um, or have diseases like interstitial lung disease, we're really, really careful about making sure uh, it's safe to do surgery. And so for all of my patients, I try to have them do some type of pulmonary rehab or exercise or preparation for these operations. And then certainly if they have a more severe lung disease, like uh, interstitial lung disease, we work very closely with the pulmonologist, which is a lung medicine doctor. Thank you.